Belleville General Hospital is undergoing many changes right now, including a $99.5 million expansion in the works with the addition of the new Sills Wing set to be complete by early 2010. But when construction is done, the approximate 175,000 square feet of new space will have one thing in common with the older building. The entire hospital uses fluorescent lighting. Which is where another new addition to BGH comes in, the bulb eater. Designed to decompose fluorescent tube light bulbs, separating the glass, metal, and gases in one safe and simple step, manager of facility services Ken Paradise knew right away the device was one that could benefit the hospital in more ways than one. I heard about this at the uh, Canadian Healthcare Engineering Society seminar. Uh, it's a conference show, actually, uh, done in, uh, it's, uh, there's one in Ontario, and there's all kinds of provincial chapters. This was uh, in London. The $4,500 investment was one Paradise says the hospital quickly identified as necessary. Uh, I brought it before Capital. Um, it was approved for the first go-around. Uh, sold it on the idea of just a good green thing to do. Uh, it was approved unanimously uh, and uh, the response has been um, uh, unbelievable, I would think. Um, would be a fair way to put that. Um, everybody loves it. Uh, they see it and they say, it's such a simple idea, it works great, and uh, I haven't seen anybody that doesn't like it. Uh, it's cut down on um, the handling of the bulbs instead of having to store them until we fill up boxes in order to send them to the landfill. It removes 99.9% uh, .9 of the mercury vapor, which before went to the landfill. Um, we think that um, with 1,350 bulbs being able to be crushed in the bulb crusher, the bulb eater, uh, you're basically saving like a five-ton truck of worth of boxes of bulbs going to the landfill and they do not, they do not have any of the mercury vapor. All that cardboard now gets recycled. Before it didn't, it, it used to protect the bulbs. Now the unit itself sits on top of a 55 gallon drum. When the drum is full, there's an idiot light comes on and says, I'm full. Uh, and you basically just unstrap the unit from, unbolt it from the top of the drum. Uh, the drum gets covered up with the old lid and you just take the top um, unit and put it onto another drum. With over 500 tubes replaced monthly, the hospital knows the bulb eater is an investment that will take a bite out of waste.